Hello all and welcome back to to our Ottoman Empire Let's Play. Uh, I actually missed doing a video last night because I um, well I had a wireless mouse and the battery ran out and it refused to start working even when I um, changed the battery. So I decided to destroy that mouse by throwing it. Uh, at the floor twice uh, so it's now dead I have a new mouse uh, now uh, I, I had one last night as well but it worked really badly it made a, a, a very bad clicking sound uh, so yeah now I'm back I'm going to make it up uh, this weekend by doing more videos of this game as well as uh, continuing on my distant world's shadows let's play so yeah, um, I don't think you can hear it right now, but I've also changed the main theme for the ga this game, actually. Uh, I don't think you can hear it. Um, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Um, because it's really good. This is the... Uh, this is the main theme for Europa Universalis 4 uh, written by Andreas Valdetoft uh, it's really rousing really good music I love it uh, they just released it on YouTube and it's available for download as well so I recommend you go download it uh, really great I love I love this tune yeah and uh, Europa Universalis will as we all know be here in uh, at August 13 so yeah we're all waiting for that now uh, yeah just listen to it you can go download it uh, for yourself um, so yeah let's continue where we were now I just wanted to show you that single player <coughs> load game these are my Ottoman let's play uh, saves so let's continue where we were in 1467 we are at war we, oh, the game will now load I will stop talking while it does so because it jumps uh, a few uh, it, it actually cuts out a bit of my voice I've noticed so yeah let's try okay here we are that went well and we are currently at war with the Mamluks. Um, the only province left to conquer is Alexandria and of course it's posing a problem. Uh, we left off with this cliffhanger here. Uh, our army is fighting. Uh, we tried to assault their fortress and we failed and we're now fighting a major rebel army there. So yeah that's, uh, <laughs> that's an unfortunate situation but we have uh, reinforcements coming along here so we should be quite set um, oh I think the EU4 theme song begins anew that's nice yeah we are going to continue right here right now uh, free advisor slots yeah we had one die didn't we so I might want to hire a, another one. naval tech and land tech that's nothing that interests me at the moment so I'll try to find something what do I actually need um, what guys do we have then morale of armies that's great yellow prestige uh, land tech investment would actually be really great or government investment also culture culture tradition there well so so mm, I'm going to commission a couple of paintings um, I would like to build some uh, structures in my uh, provinces as well so <coughs> what was I thinking uh, government or revolt risk would be great because we are going to get a lot of territory when we conclude the Mamluk war um, 
infamy would also be infamy yeah I think an infamy guy would be really great land tech investment though that's really tempting uh, should we go with an inf infamy guy Navy blockade. Army. Mm. Isn't there an infamy guy? Yeah, here he is. Um, so our infamy is going down quite well. Um, so we don't. Re I don't. <coughs> I'm going to think about that. Yeah. <coughs> right now we're going to uh, build. Uh, temples. Our stability is up. Um, armories. That's what we are going to build. Yeah, armories. And we build those in the great manpower. Uh, Provinces, I, if, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I, I love that uh, Europa Universalis. Is my mouse glitching here? Uh, the mouse wheel isn't really that great. Oh well. <coughs> yeah, I had a wireless one, but as I said, I destroyed it. Uh, takes a bit of getting used to this one but let's on pause right here now I could also become the uh, oh yeah I don't think um, I don't think we'll win this but we're in a lot of trouble in Alexandria aren't we yeah we lost to bloody rebels Okay, well, reinforcements are coming. Uh, this was actually our only defeat in that war. Land technology advance. Can now build training fields. That's what we are going to start doing then. Because I think we built all those military buildings. Here come the reinforcements going in. Taking out those rebels and they did it soundly I'm going to uh, deploy the Eastern Army at the Delta or at Damientia Alexandria we could take that is Cairo the capital yeah uh, yeah there's the little crown capital crown there so I want what I want is Alexandria and possibly all the way down to Judea along the coast here. Damascus will also be really great. Let's check what kind of trade goods there. Grain is well. Naval supplies, naval supplies, grain. Uh, but Alexandria and the Delta should be really. They are classic provinces. Grain. Fish. Yeah, well, their trade goods aren't that really that royal, but no, we won't. We won't negotiate at this point. We will negotiate on our own terms. War weary population. This is not good, by the sound of it. <coughs> yeah. Lose five army. Two war exhaustion. What is our war exhaustion? I don't think it's. Yeah, it's a seer. We'll take the war exhaustion. Now we are at two, but we're going down. The siege of Alexandria has uh, pretty much started again. I'm now going to assault it again. Nah, that didn't work. They are very stiff. They are being very stubborn. I mean, that's the last of the Mamluk territories. I'm not go even going to read their peace proposals. Our allies are marching back and forth. Ok, 
Okay, revolting roads. Mm. And that's exactly why we have the uh, Western Army back home to go take care of roads for us and all sorts of rebellions and uh, other threats in these areas. We also soon have the Golden Horde to take care of up there, I think. Oh, finally. And another revolt. This is all due to the war exhaustion, I think. Roads again, okay. Now there are 8,000 there. Very well. But we can now get out of the war because we're at 100% war score. So let's try and see what we can... Oh, no, we're... Oh, yes, we are. Although they have their little fleet down there. Yeah, they are really down the drain now, so... Let's sue for peace. Yeah, we can't totally annex them yet, of course, but we'll... Um, see what we can get. If I want Alexandria and all the way down to Judea, what will that cost me? Eight prestige. Uh, or rather, infamy. Um, ten infamy. Can we take that? That's a sixteen infamy thing. If I just forget about Alexandria then... Um, take these parts mm. how about that eight pr eight infamy I would be pleased with that they would revoke their course on our provinces there and uh, an old treaty with Syria. They don't have any money. They would not accept this offer. Mm. They would accept this, though. These provinces as well as um, uh, revoking the chorus on these. Uh, oh, they have a bit of money, don't they? We could get 25. Um... I would have loved Alexandria, but we'll take that in the next war. We'll go with the Holy Land now, and as well as Damascus. I think this should actually do it. Let's just let's just take this. Um, it's a 98 value there, so let's take it. Okay, fine. The empire has grown substantially in the Middle East. Uh, the Holy Land is ours. That should give us the uh, Jerusalem uh, Holy City uh, modifier as well. Uh, where was it that you could see that? Somewhere here, I think. Maybe it hasn't updated yet. Something. Um, let's now send our navy home. Or into Antalya, that's better. Um, and our armies, all our armies. This is the main army that's going over to here. And our uh, eastern army will be deployed at, well, say, Sidon. Um, supply limit is 17. Well, actually, I, I think it's only playing the European Universalis 4 song now. Uh, I haven't heard any other songs, so I need to change that back because that, that's not working for me. Um, royal marriage, why not? Okay, let's get together a few buildings as well here. Um, pause. What happened there? We can build the training fields now. Um, what are those? Allows faster training of new regiments. Manpower increase. 
local regiment because we are going to build one in Thraki because we are going to recruit a lot of regiments there I'd also want my uh, constables and other stuff in in the newly conquered newly conquered lands um, Yeah, you, Damascus. <coughs> I think I'm going to deploy. Yeah. We now get missionaries again. That's great. Because we took Jerusalem. So, I'm going to send the Eastern Army into Damascus. It's going to be deployed there. It's a station now. Yeah, we cut up the Mamluks pretty well, but we need more wars against them, uh, perhaps two or more, still to... Uh, this is the Western Army in it, I'm going to deploy that at Macedonia. We might have um, rebellions as well, yeah, so these, these areas are now red. Uh, these are also red roads where we have had uh, several rebellions already. But yeah, we're doing fine for once. And we are going to wait for the Golden Horde. They are probably going to pop up. Uh, I don't remember when they'll be here but uh, we're going to we're going to wait for them drive them out do we have any colonists we have five we could if we wanted are these under our occupation how come our allies have taken them <coughs> well I haven't I, I, I didn't notice that actually if I now start colonizing them I will become neighbors with the green mm, green guys here as well um, but if I don't Persia will come in here uh, these are indeed occupied by us so Persia can't touch them though but I think I might want to start colonizing Van I have five colonists I could do it in one oh now it's playing a different tune yeah so it's working okay um, <coughs> Van is trading in wool. Imereti is trading in wool as well. Um, Van is of a higher value. Um, population 23,000. Yeah, Van. We are going to colonize Van right now. That's what we're going to do. <coughs> Because the Timurids are really... they're gone now. They're out of the game. This is uh, this is the end of them. Persia is growing and uh, taking Timurid lands. Uh, Persia will be our, uh, actually, uh, rival in uh, the east. If we want to build that uh, Alexander the Great Empire I've been talking about, then we'll have to consider dealing with the um, Persians. So yeah, an expansion east is going to help us. Also, I'd like to get Syria out of that Mamluk alliance and perhaps into vassalage with uh, us. Well, that's not going to happen yet. But in the uh, second war, it will. Um, Mamluks expires in 1478. So yeah, 10 years. Colonization failed. Of course it did. What's the colonization chance? I haven't really checked. 77%. So yeah, it's... Rebellions in uh, Golden Horde land again. That's really great. Here they are, the Golden Horde, but they are not at war with us. They are at war with the evil Hungarians. We like that situation, don't we? We have two Magi... Ah, oh, yeah, this isn't going very well, is it? We are wasting our colonists. But, nonetheless, the colony will grow 
if it's left alone there so I might want to send in by in my army if it uh, completely fails to uh, defect to us in this colonies uh, in this uh, uh, this wave of colonization yeah this is failing really badly uh, it's 77 percent chance to succeed but we're still failing three colonists have failed now so yeah really irritating spice we have magistrates we are going to build stuff oh pause it while i'm in here please we're going to build our constables in the uh, in the high tax provinces Beirut for an example Judea really well good and inside on then we are not going to build any more constables right now <coughs> we are going to concentrate on military buildings like armories and those training fields please succeed with this colonization otherwise it will take a long time to get a colony here Our manpower can be at a maximum of 96,000. That's a whole lot. Um, let's unpause it as well, shall we? Rebellion in Hama. Very well. Send in the army. Okay. <coughs> at least this succeeded. The Battle of Hama was won and the rebellion was crushed. Completely. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, the only thing I can do now is wait for more colonists, and that's taking a long time. And um, wait for this colony to grow uh, naturally. Are our armies only 13 regiments strong? Yeah, obviously they are. I thought I made them 15 apiece we lost a couple of regiments during the war then <coughs> so we are going to build uh, two more infantry regi oh no I'm doing this all wrong I always mess it up don't I two okay oh yes we don't have the manpower for that yet so we're going to wait for our manpower Prestige is now really high, so is legitimacy. And our infamy does need need to go down. Did I hire an infamy guy or did I forget? Did I? Yeah, we're going to hire an infamy guy now. So um, <coughs> let's go do that. This is the guy we want, a diplomat. Um, level 2 of course as crappy as possible um, no matter we we'll take what we we'll get Ishak Siladar level 2 yeah he's expensive for being a level 2 yes I wish to recruit that bloke <coughs> What's happening? France is pretty much... Oh god. Lose one stability. Yeah! End of peasants war in Lithuania or somewhere. That's something we don't need to know about at this point. Let's pump it all into stability now. Shall we? Oh, we're soon at government's, uh, govern government aid as well. That's good. But Let's get our stability up to maximum. Songai, my sultan, we entered a royal marriage with Songai. Oh, wow! Just out of the blue. Yeah, well. Okay, here comes the gold, uh, golden horde again. But um, they have rebels there, so we're just going to sit here and wait. Uh, 
spy castles belly against Hungary. Hungary, um, the spy failed though, but Hungary are uh, directing their interest against us. That's not good news actually. Yeah, here comes the Golden Horde army. I'm now sending my uh, Eastern army up to Muse there. Yeah, they're coming in with 23,000 troops. Here come our allies. Uh, okay, yeah, general goes and dies at exactly the worst time in history. Um, then we are going to recruit a new, a new one. Recruit a general, General Savas Tayar. Yeah, good. Let's assign him as well, Sayas Savas. You are now the leader of the main army. Let's continue. Okay. Oh, this is now up to 15,000. Let's now march. March on Erzurum. I think only one army can actually handle this. They are going to get out, aren't they? Yeah, that's better. That's better. We caught him. <coughs> yeah, we'll win that. No question about it. Okay, where are you going, sir? You're going to Imereti? Uh, yeah, that's up there. We're going to follow you. Take you out. No, we are. Yeah, we are. Uh, no, that's another another army. That's not him. He's coming into Van. That's not good news. We need to send these troops here and capture him. He's retreating. Yeah, I hate, I hate the Golden Horde. I hate them. We're going in with 14,000. He has 14,000. This is just a gamble. Let's see now. Uh, spy. I bet it's on, on Hungarian again. Let's go into him already now. Yeah, I bet it's an Hungarian spy again. <coughs> Let's win this battle. Yeah, we're being pumped with spies right now. And you are going to Vaughn, of course you are. We are going to follow you. We already have our allied contingents in there. So again we are fighting one of these traditional horde wars, but uh, we can hold them, take out their armies. See now, oh I am paused, I still do that mistake. Did we take him now? Yeah, uh, we have destroyed one of their armies. I don't think I can go in there, that's Georgian territory. I can't touch them there, so I'm going to just wait here at the border, uh, lay siege to Imereti, and uh, just... <sighs> yeah, those Hungarians, they are um, ticking me off now. Maybe we have to deal with them as well, at some point. Hungary has a peasants war, that's good news for us actually. A bit of rebelling in the mighty Hungarian Empire there. What's Austria doing? Nothing. Um, well, Imereti, we won. Okay, thank you kindly. Accepted uh, Georgia has accepted peace with the Golden Hall. That is, yes, worrying. Also, a colony coming along. Oh, it's soon finished. But speaking of finished, 
uh, this uh, episode now also comes to a close. We have our 30 minutes are up here. Um, I thank you for watching. Join me next time and cheers.